Hey there, Angie M. Just wanted to quickly pop on and talk about some planner stuff. I'm not feeling the greatest, so I'm trying to film a bunch of things while I have some energy. And what I have here are just some things I wanted to show. So I've got Vanderspeck, the Touch Me line in the TM to back. And part of the reason I want to highlight this, I think, across videos is really because they did change out the back plates. Instead of a 30 millimeter back plate, it is now the 25 millimeter back plate, which is much smaller. If you have smaller hands like I do, it's going to fit better in your hand. If, if that's a thing that you know, that pops up for you. Just, just so you know, it's a thing for me. So I figured I would share that. Just put one of my Ollie clips on there. I like having an Ollie clip on my planner. It's the way I roll. I've got a juice brown as well that I'm just gonna throw in, in here. Gotta kind of stretch these guys out to start with the Wow, wow, All right, it's, it's uh, really hugging. I don't wanna tear it. Okay, all right. So I'm not gonna stick that in there for right now. I do have uh, a little clip that I will put on there. Since I think this might be the one I use next, I'm not gonna, or is in line, I'm not gonna put that on there now, just in case I want it on a different one. And then I'm not going to remember I put it in here, but I just I have this. This is going to replace my JL Brown 30 millimeter. I feel really awful about that, but I, I can't stand the smell that the Janet Leather Brown has taken on in the leather. I have heard from others that it's not just me, that it, the leather can take on a sickly sweet scent. And I just, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. And then I have two here from Paperbound Creations, the one I am using right now. Last I checked, this was in stock still. I I like it. If if you don't know, I do put cardboard in the back to give more stability for the closure so that I can close it and I just have some singles in the back there. But I really love this. It my daughter wants it. <laughs> she told me when you're done with it, I can have that. When you're done with it, mommy, when you're done with it. She's four. She likes beautiful things too. And we have a lot of similar tastes, turns out. So, but I'm using that one right now. This is also in stock. This is a restock. I really kind of wanted this one for a while and it was out of stock. Sorry, I was trying to keep a cord from falling off my desk. It was out of stock and it came back in stock. And as soon as it came back in stock, I was like, yoink, that's mine. I haven't put anything in it yet. 30 millimeter silver rings. I really love the, the water staining color and maybe I'll be in this one next. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I kind of wonder how much, I mean, there's almost enough string that I could probably loosen the string and then I wouldn't need, I wouldn't need the, the cardboard in here. Part of it is the string. Once there's something in it, we'll pull on it like that around it and, in, and into the paper. So I use the cardboard to just stop that from happening. But that is, that is what I've got going on here. I really love paper bound creations. Both of these she's used rainbow thread on. So this is like a pastel rainbow and this is a brighter rainbow. It looks like to go with it. But I, I really love these. I've talked about Paperbound Creations before. I, sh I could just do a video on, on things from Paperbound Creations. And with each of these, she also did include bows, which I don't, I don't expect, but she included them. I really love them. They're beautiful. I know I don't use bows a whole lot, even though I have a lot of them from different places. I just kind of have my favorite things in there right now that match really well. But that is it. It is a true A6 size. So in case you're wondering about that, it is true A6. There is no pen loop, which might be the only the only issue I have with it is that there are no pen loops. But I do have something coming that I'll be able to add to my page lifter to be able to stick a pen in the page lifter when I'm using one of the planners that doesn't have a pen loop. So not a huge deal, but if if pen loops are your thing, see you can you can see that it's 
it's squeezing it back. It kind of prevents it from bending in. That cardboard isn't reaching the edge there, which is why it's bending it a little bit, but I mean, not a huge concern, not a, not a huge issue, just something I noticed. Again, both very beautiful. Both were in stock last I saw. And then the last, well, not the last thing, but uh, something I have here is a top load. So I have a side loader here, and I believe, I think it's from the same shop. I can't remember now, but the side load is okay. But with some of the planners that I use, so in Paperbound Creations, her covers are a little bit taller, so these guys are more protected when they go in here. But I do have other planners where they're much less protected when they go in on side loads, so I wanted a top load. So I picked up the top load and this is from Rose Bunny Studios on her Etsy. Let me just slide it in there. I think that this is going to be a really tight fit like with my VDS touch me line. What is it stuck on? What are you stuck on? but I have a feeling that it's going to relax over time. It's like it's catching. Ooh, yeah, it's really tight. It's really tight. So it's super tight, doesn't come up. It does bulk it up quite a bit, which I'm kind of hit or miss on. I, I'm not sure anything wider than this is gonna fit in here. So I don't know about my VDSs with the closures with the actual snap closure, if they're gonna be okay. But I do I do think this will loosen up a little bit over time and get some stretch going. So I've got that. I'm super excited about that. I also made my own because I wanted to try my hand at making my own pouch. So I just, from Joanne Fabrics, I just picked out a fabric that I liked and I hand stitched this. I did at the top use some fusible webbing which worked really well with this material. I tried to make a pouch out of a different material. It was actually thinner and that fusing didn't didn't take at all. So I think that had to do with heat, but this guy is wider because I tried to size it out. So it's maybe an inch, maybe a little over an inch wider than this guy because I tried to make sure I sized it enough for a Van Der Speck Touch Me, which is wider. It's very loose, but it's also very thin and doesn't bulk it up a whole lot. So I have that. So I've got a VDS touch me here just to show you the difference. So the VDS is a little less tall, but definitely much wider. And will still easily fit in this pouch with extra room which is what I wanted because again, I wanted something that I could easily use. And I really like this. I can easily just fold it and stick it in my planner bag when I'm not using it so that I've got it with me. That's just, um, I'm trying not to be disappointed with how tight this is. At least I know it's gonna hold it. So that is what it looks like in here. And then as you can see, the top tabs are definitely gonna stick stick out on this one because it isn't as tall as, as this guy. So that's, that's what you get. The height difference is because again of the padding underneath, but I mean, this fits, it just fits tightly. That's all. And again, it's gonna loosen the more, the more I use it, the more that's gonna loosen up and I'm, I'm actually not mad at that. All right, so last but not least, something that I put together myself. I did purchase some printable coloring pages from White Stag on Etsy. I absolutely love her shop. I'm getting this in a print card that they have. I love their shop. More to come on that. I thought it would be cool just to throw these in my planner. Maybe I'll just fill them in with some colored pencil or something or I'll just leave them like this. I just, they're really cool. I like them. 
I like them a lot. So there are those. I'm Right now I'm keeping them on my desk and I think that covers it. Man, my eyes really hurt. They're just burning. Wow. All right. Yeah, I'm losing steam as well. I've got one more video I'm going to film and I'm probably not going to even attempt to edit today. I'm probably just going to like grab my Potter bag and bring it upstairs with me. And if there's anything I need to do, I'll probably just do it from the comfort of my couch. <laughs> um, yeah, I really don't feel great. So that, that is that. This guy is so beautiful. I can't wait to be in this as well. I, I can't say enough good stuff about Paperbound Creations. I just, her stuff is beautiful. The quality is, is excellent. They're super affordable, less than 40 bucks, you know, for my A6s. I also kind of thought about getting this for HP Mini. Hear me, hear me, hear me out, hear me out. I kind of miss being in my HP Mini. I am trying really hard not to go back down that road because when I sold my HP Mini, I sold all of my HP Mini stuff with the exception of a couple of dashboards that I really loved and I kept because I had modified them. So I, I really don't want to go back to HP Mini and have to reconstruct like my entire planner. That said, I have enough printables that I could probably size to the right size and just print and cut and you know, do all of my own stuff with, but I don't know, but I do kind of want this for like a mini, an HP mini size. I just, I am so locked into A6 right now though, in terms of planner covers and things that I have, it's really, really hard for me to be like, ooh, let's switch back to an HP mini. Which is a slight, which is a slightly bigger size. At the same time, I do kind of miss it. I don't know what else to say about that. I do. I, I kind of miss my HP Mini. All right. As always, much love, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.